Hello and welcome to Positive Parenting Tips. My name is Bernadette and I'm a librarian with LA County Library. I have been accredited in a positive parenting program. Today's tips are about helping your toddler eat independently. Most toddlers will have started to eat with their fingers and hold a spoon by 12 months. They learn to use the spoon between 12 months and two years of age. Toddlers can learn to eat with the, what the rest of the family eats. Some food should be cut into smaller pieces or mashed. It's normal for a toddler's appetite to change with their rate of growth. It's normal for toddlers to be fussy about eating and insist on certain foods. Keep offering a variety of foods and come back to foods they may have not liked. When you prepare for mealtimes, keep these points in mind. Have regular meal times and avoid snacks before a regular meal. And 20 to 30 minutes is usually enough time for a toddler to eat a meal. Having meals together as a family is a good learning opportunity. Be prepared for messy eating. Get everything you need ready before you bring your child to their high chair or table. Serve manageable portions. You don't want to serve too much and let your child ask for more if they are still hungry. Introduce new foods one at a time. Encourage your toddler to eat independently by offering finger food. Put out foods that are easy to eat with fingers. Encourage your child to use a spoon. You may need to gently guide them through the actions, expect spills, and praise when they are successful. When they lose interest in using the spoon, continue to feed them yourself. Encourage desirable behavior with positive statements and a smile. Praise actions like using the spoon, sitting, and trying new food. If problem behaviors occur, use planned ignoring. Do not laugh or give any extra attention when they spit out food, refuses to eat, or throw foods or utensils. If it does happen, remove the food and utensils and turn away. When the behavior has stopped, start again. If your child continues the problem behavior, do not force them to eat. At the end of the meal time, take away the food and offer food again at the next meal or snack time. Always watch your child to prevent falls or choking. To develop good eating habits and reduce risks, sit your child down whenever they eat or drink. Avoid food that your child may have difficulty swallowing or may choke on, such as cherry tomatoes, grapes, nuts, hard candies, raw vegetables, and popcorn. We hope you have found this positive parenting tip helpful. Click the link in the description box for upcoming programs and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy access to new videos. Bye for now.